guys welcome back to my channel it's finally halloween and i'm so excited i'm starting off today's look with no eyebrows and i'm already in my nun costume pretty much but we're gonna jump right into it today's video i'm gonna be using this new mayron paint kit that i got it's so beautiful i'm so obsessed with it you guys and i got my nun kit at spirit it came with the hat and the collar so I'm going to start off my look by just painting my whole neck white and my face. I was so blown away and like taken back by this pigment. I'm so in love with these paints. This was my first time using them so I'm still trying to get used to working with them since I've never you know, done it before. But I love it. It's different from what I'm used to. I usually just use Walmart cream paints so I definitely stepped up my game this year. So this is just a wet n wild foundation brush. I'm not sure what brushes work best with water paints. This was a little streaky using this brush in particular, but I went ahead and just covered my whole face and then once I let it dry, I started to create the nose. Now I'm going to take some bone and nose wax and the good old trusty Prosade to help the nose and wax stick to my skin. And I'm going to take a little chunk of it and first put down some Prosade, let that dry a little bit so it becomes tacky and then just pop on that nose. I was using the viewfinder as my mirror for this one and I take some oil on my fingertips to smooth out the wax. It's a lot easier to work with. It won't stick to your fingers this way. And thankfully that the Valak, I think a Valak or Valak, whatever the nun's name is, she got a messed up nose, all right? Her nose is all jacked up. So this does not have to be perfect. Look at a reference shot, that's what I did. And I just smoothed out the edges so they kind of meshed into my actual skin. And then of course, once you are done with this shape and you're satisfied with it, powder it so it's ready to get painted over. And I just use the white paint, of course, to paint over my nose. So once that's dried down and you're ready to go, I'm gonna take this Carity Matte Palette. It has all these beautiful colorful shades in it. I'm gonna take the light green shadow and just pat it all over my cheeks. I will admit right now, you guys, I do bounce around this tutorial a little bit. I was just trying to feel artsy feel the motions, trying to get into the feel of this look. So I take some of the black watercolor paint from the Mayron palette and apply it to both of my eyes and then I of course set that down the road. I don't do it right now. Again, I was bouncing all around with this tutorial. So I try to just smudge out the eyeshadow as much as I can and I take some of the gray eyeshadow from Parity palette to start blending out the black upwards and I bring this pretty much all the way up towards my brow. I do go in with the gray eyeshadow a couple times so I'm just going to do this until I feel like it's kind of blended in a nice dirty princess demented nun type of way blended. That's the kind of blending I'm going to go for. And to be completely honest with you guys this look really does not take a lot. It's really easy to create because you're not working with a lot of colors and the look is not really complex. It's pretty simple. So with a thicker brush, I'm going to start creating some random wrinkles over my face. Again, I'm jumping all over the place with this one. Now I'm setting my lids with some black eyeshadow from that Carity palette. And then I start to take the gray eyeshadow and kind of hollow out my cheeks a little bit and really make these defined. I do go um, later on in the video with some black to really define it. But for now, I just start with the gray. Again, and then around. So I begin to smudge out the black around my eyes by applying um, some of the gray mixed in with the black and then just using my fingertips. And now taking a very thin brush and the black watercolor from the Main Bond palette, I'm going to start creating wrinkles all over my eyes in that area. I do do it all over my face, but again, i do that later on in the video because now I'm going to move on to my lips. Why? I don't really know. But I'm going to take this, I believe it's a wet and wild like black crayon, jumbo crayon, pencil thing, and I just covered my lips with it and then I started to smear it off with my finger just to, you know, give us that nice feel that the nun has in the movie. Again, a reference picture is what's really going to be your best friend with this one because that's how you're going to make it look just like the movie. You know what else is really spooky? The stupid beeps in the background. Oh my god, you guys, I apologize. I'm so sorry. If there's anything scary about this whole thing, it's the beeps in the background. <laughs> so as you can see I took some of the gray eyeshadow just to blend out that black a little bit more and now I'm going in with black eyeshadow to start to add some shading around the nose, around the mouth just to give us that creepy mean look that that nun has. And once you have all the shading done, like I said, I go back in with that very thin brush and some of the 
black body paint and I just start to make some more dimension around the nose. I really want to have the illusion that this nose is nice and elongated. I did put the wax on there, but going looking forward, you can't really tell how big it is and the effect that it has. So I went ahead and did some shading around it just to really make it pop. And like I mentioned, I go back in with some of the black and the gray combined to really hollow out those cheekbones just to kind of make it match with all the rest of the black that we have all over the face. I mean, in this case, the darker the better. You can't really go wrong with the shading in this one. And yeah, I add a few more lines around my mouth and around my nose and pretty much that is the completed look. I do pop on some teeth that I did make myself. If you wanna see a video on how I did so and the product that I used to create the teeth, let me know down below. I didn't do it today and show you guys because time sensitive, you know what I'm saying. But if you do wanna see a tutorial on how I do so, let me know. I pop those babies on, throw on some more black lips, and I call it a day. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming it. Let me know down below what else you want to see this year. And yeah, I will just catch you guys in my next Halloween tutorial as always. Bye, you guys.